hello everyone and welcome to the channel so by the time you are watching this video you will be having less than 24 hours for exam so i won't be taking a lot of time of yours keeping this video very short i'll be talking about some very important things that you need to take care before you go for your csi net exam we will start with some general things which you need to take care of some tips from my side then we will talk about uh, what are the things that you need to take care in the exam to keep your uh, like flow of exam proper and to be confident in the exam and the third most important thing that how you can utilize those three hours how much time you have to give for which section which section you have to give uh, do first and all the things related to that the first thing is that you have to take care of all the things that can create last time panic okay you have to take care of all those things so those things include your admit card or what the, whatever documents are required like your admit card is required then you have to fill your declaration page in case if you don't know how to fill the declaration form i have made a video last time and i hope that the declaration is pretty same so you can watch that video in order to understand how to do that so fill your declaration form properly take your uh, admit card whatever things are required with it just be prepared with that uh, second important thing is about your examination center i hope you have already taken care of how you are going to reach your examination center in case not please do that you have to make sure that you are reaching examination center at least one hour prior to the reporting time that's very important to keep one hour as a buffer because you never know about the traffic okay uh, it's raining in many part of india and you have to reach examination center although we have examination in afternoon and we don't expect a lot of traffic during that time but because a lot of students will be traveling try to keep one hour buffer so that you reach examination center at least one hour before time okay this is going to make or keep you calm okay next thing is that you have to stay positive till now you have studied a lot be confident on yourself whatever you have studied that is enough to qualify csi net exam there is a lot of things which you already know okay and you are already doing much much better than or most of the people who are sitting over there so just be confident with what things you have right now in your mind uh, don't discuss things with others as i have already mentioned in my previous video it, before reaching like when you reach the examination center when you have time don't discuss with other students that what they have studied what they have prepared which topics they have studied please uh, please 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 avoid that be confident be positive everything is going to go well okay next thing is about once you reach examination center once you enter examination center you will be taken for uh, your biometrics all the things will be done by the examination like invigilator over there there will be a proper section for that once you are done with it you will be allotted with a computer you will be given a number or a seat of a computer like a, a system basically so you are going to sit over there and exam will not start automatically you have to wait over there for 30 minutes or something okay and that time is really boring time i would say okay because you have to sit there is nothing on the screen just your name and just few things on the screen so uh, and they do not allow you to write or do anything so you can utilize that time for checking the technical glitches okay your mouse is very important your mouse is the most important technical thing which you are going to use for giving the entire exam so make sure that your mouse is working properly okay see if the mouse is like uh, uh, if you rotate it on the pad is the cursor responding properly is the click and the other things working properly that is very important because keyboard does not have that much use in the examination because most of the things you do not have any numerical answer type or anything like that okay whatever thing you have to do is multiple choice questions so your mouse is very important make sure that is working properly other technical things should be good your desktop should be good your computer screen should be good if there is any problem which you face please report it to the invigilator and get that fixed okay and also make sure that the computer on which you are sitting shows your details okay that is again like cross check every details over there now we'll talk about things during examination first thing is if you are not aware about it the question paper uh, will have separate section wise but within a section let's say in section c there are 60 questions those 60 questions will be mixed okay you cannot expect all organic questions first and then inorganic and then physical it's not like that there are mixed question you will get organic question then inorganic then physical or something like that it is all mixed it is all random and the number of sequence of question in your computer will be different from others okay so whatever is question number 12 for you might not be question number might be question number five or six for others okay so why i'm telling you all this because you should not expect all the uh, organic questions altogether you should not expect all the inorganic questions altogether i hope you are already aware about it but in case not you should know it okay because when you sit in the exam it should not come to you as a surprise you have to be calm over there okay 
whether questions are easy or whether questions are difficult. I have seen students getting excited if the paper is easy and I have seen students getting, you know, uh, panicking when the question is difficult. Don't uh, worry about it. All the questions are not going to be difficult. All the questions are not going to be easy. Few questions, early questions might be difficult of difficult level. Later on, it can be different. Okay. So, don't panic with the initial impression of the question paper. Okay. Don't worry about that. Stay calm. Now, that's where your two round method technique comes. Okay. I have discussed about it already in my previous video, but just a quick overview of it. So, in two round method technique, I uh, suggest students to go through questions uh, once. Okay. Let's say if you have decided to start with part C or you decided to solve questions of part C. So, just go through all the questions of part C one by one, one by one without answering them. Or if you see any question very easy, you can answer that. But I would recommend that go through each and every question once. How is this going to be useful? Because you have an option of mark for review in examination. And if you see the question from your topic, because you have not studied everything, right? You have not prepared the entire syllabus. But let's say question number one is from organic uh, spectroscopy, which you have studied. So, you can mark that for review. Question number two in part C is let's say from quantum mechanics, which you have not studied. So, skip that question. You see that, okay, you started reading and you understood, okay, this is from quantum. Let's leave that question, okay. So, leave that, go to the next question. Let's the next question is from coordination chemistry. You have studied that, that topic, mark for review and so on. You can keep on going through all the 60 questions. This is going to give you an idea that how many oh, after reading all these 60 questions or after going through all these 60 questions, you will get an idea that these how many of these 60 questions you already know. Okay, because you only have to choose 25. Imagine that there are some easy question at the end of the question paper and there are difficult question in the starting of the question paper or confusing questions in the starting of the question paper and you decided to choose that and answer that question. Okay, let's say you decided to answer question number one. But there was question number 59, which was much more easier and you were more confident on it. But now you cannot answer it because you have already marked 25 questions in part C. So you have to either go back and choose among the questions that which one you want to replace with question number 59. That is going to be a bit more time taking. Okay, And time is very important in exam. So that's why it is always advised that you go through all the question one by one mark those which you which you have studied and then start solving them one by one this is very effective uh, it is also time saving as well okay so try to use that if you have never used this technique try to utilize this in exam and you will see the difference over there okay especially for part c this is very 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 important okay next very important thing is breaking the flow method okay so this thing i have experienced and i have followed while i was giving exam and i have suggested this to students and it has been very effective to them as well the thing is that in case you have started solving questions and let's say you started solving two three questions and all those three questions you were not able to do let's say question number one you tried you give you have given some time you were not able to do you went to the next question you tried still you don't know the answer you are not able to do you went to the next one still you tried you were not able to do now is the time when you should take a break okay break that flow so this is called a negative mindset uh, break because right now your mind is see when you are not able to solve a question and you go to the next one your mind still keeps on processing the previous question and let's say when the, you are not able to do the second one as well you went to the third one while solving the third one your mind is on the back is already like is trying to process the first two questions so your mind is already captured with lot of things you have to take a break otherwise it's going to affect the next question as well sometimes these are the places where silly mistakes are made so take a break go somewhere uh, have water or something whatever is allowed in the examination center and this break the flow method should not be used when you are doing questions correctly let's say you got question number one correctly you i mean you were able to solve it properly you went to the next question you were able to solve it uh, properly you went to the next one again you were able to solve it uh, properly you should not take a break while going to the next one because your flow is very good you are in a positive mindset right now go to the next question until you get stuck you should not take a break i have seen students taking break in between but don't do that if you are able to solve questions properly you should only do it when you get stuck in questions okay now we will talk about the three hours of exam you can follow any uh, approach or uh, what i would suggest to you is start with part c that is more effective okay start with part c then go to part b and at the end give part a but you should give a fixed amount of time per question and per section of the examination so part c has 60 questions out of those 60 25 you have to do 
if you are following the two round method technique in that case also the total time on, on reading or going through all the questions and on solving the part c should not be more than 90 to 100 minutes you should not take more than 90 to 100 minutes for part c which gives you three to four minutes per question you cannot exceed more than four minutes if a question is taking five minute or six minute just stop go to the next one okay just skip that question mark it for review and come back to it later if time permits when we go for part b now so part b has 40 questions and you have to do 35 questions from part b so you should give at max of 60 minutes not more than 60 minutes for part b so per question you will get less than two minutes so if you are taking more than two minutes to solve a question of part b just avoid that part a you have 15 questions do not give more than 30 minutes to that uh, if you are able to do let's say five or ten questions from part a it's a very good attempt uh, but i would highly encourage you to attempt part a at least not 30 at least 10 marks you can expect from part a right five are very easy questions in part a so you should invest time to part a give 30 minutes minimum to part a and you will see that at least you are able to do uh, five or six questions which will give you around 10 to 12 marks in part a when one very important thing is uh, regarding when you are going for exam i have told this in the previous video but again i am repeating please avoid having rice and have a light meal before exam okay because uh, having rice or having a heavy meal might make you sleepy you are going to give exam in afternoon session especially uh, when you will be sitting before the exam starts right Do that particular time that is a boring time and your mind will try to shut down for a certain time try to make you sleep for a certain time avoid that because then you won't be able to fresh it like you, you will be able to attempt fresh for the exam so try to avoid that try to avoid taking heavy meal and uh, if possible try to avoid rice before going for exam remember you have given a lot of effort for this exam and you have come far for this okay so be confident on yourself and all the best for your exam